This new version of the software contains many new features. So as well as being able to monitor the real-time performance of your wind turbines and anemometers and display the data in any format that you like and log your data to the SD card on the microcontroller for later data retrieval, you can now improve the performance of your wind turbines. So let's have a look at what we can do. This is the real-time monitor. There are now two speeds, so you can change the units and monitor your anemometer and wind turbine speeds at the same time, as well as an MPPT and battery monitor, which we'll have a look at later. The history from the SD card is pretty much as before, except now there's a, an extra export facility to a CSV file so you can look at that offline with your favourite spreadsheet. The wind speed view displays the performance data in wind speed bins so we can see frequency distributions and TSR. The battery monitor controls a digital output for battery charging or diversion loads. MPPT is for generation of a PWM signal using your own algorithm and the RT monitor allows you to refine your algorithms. The wind speed bins give you a different view of what your system is doing. You can plot various types of your data against the wind speed on the x-axis. The number of samples in this data set and when the data set was started are displayed in the title of the plot. In order to start a new sample set you can reset and this will clean out all the previous data and start again. Each sample represents one minute's worth of data which in itself could be many thousands of individual readings. Measuring the performance of your system is a good thing, but sometimes you may want to improve the performance as well. So an architecture something like this is a typical solution where we have an MPPT circuit being driven by this software. It also generates a digital output signal indicating divert or charging for a charge controller circuit to use. The digital output on the scope is high. The battery in the system is 12 volts and the RT monitor has shown us that the battery is in its charging state. The divert for the battery is above the current battery voltage, so it's charging. So if we change that to be below the battery voltage, the signal goes low because it's in its divert. Check the RT monitor, it's diverting. So you can do the opposite. and the battery should change from its diverting to a charging state. Here's a typical power curve with a cut-in wind speed the rated wind speed and the rated power. Every wind turbine will have its own unique power curve so what we need is a way of describing the curve that anybody can use. A general equation could include a cubic term, a square term, a linear term and a constant where the user can define A, B, C and D 
specific for their own turbine. These values are decimal, positive or negative, or zero. The PWM duty is related to the power output, so we can use this algorithm to control the power. Additionally, there is a wind speed to divert at and a default duty. All of the data necessary to control the MPPT can be set up here. The user algorithm can be chosen and specific values for A, B, C and D can be set specific for your wind turbine. Further control can be made by adjusting the speed average time which is the number of seconds to average the speed input over. The speed input can be selected from two different sources either the wind speed from your anemometer or the shaft speed from your power turbine. The power curve limits we talked about earlier can be set up here as well as a min max for your PWM duty for tighter control. As well as being able to control the PWM duty, we'll want to be able to control the frequency as well. So the scope is showing the PWM output at the moment and we can change the frequency up or down over a wide range to suit your MPPT circuit. So let's do a quick demo. The turbine is currently stationary and the PWM duty is at its default. We can update this to whatever we want. And then go to the RT monitor and start the turbine. So it will be producing a little bit of power, some speed, and a change in the duty. And then it will stop again, and it will return back to where it started. In the next video, we'll take in some live data and see how it all fits together.